It's interesting that both teams have gone transport company's first choice. Yeah. Uh, chip tuning uh, is the choice of Trelleborg and Rimmer have gone for slight edge, so. Acceleration versus oh, top, top end speed. speed, okay. Well, they kind of need top end speed with that setup, to yeah. be honest. I'm, I'm really surprised Trelleborg haven't gone for a larger tractor in that set. I know they can get through the crop easier with the, with the row crop tyres on, but I don't know. Oh, we just caught up on the tape oh, there, right. I think. Looked like Ooh. it. And, ah, now Grimmer have got... <laughs> Grimmer go for a very interesting first oh, change their mind. Hang on, what happened I there? think Grimmer have gone for three harvesters. If they can pull this off, they can they can cause a big they have. problem for They've got three harvesters. They've got three harvesters. They need to get a bailer, though. Three harvesters is gonna hurt Trelleborg a lot. That is that is not a good start for Trelleborg. That. I suppose it's one of those ways you think, how are we gonna stop Trelleborg? That's a good way of doing it. Limit them to one harvester, and it really now, does give you the edge. The question is, right, Grimmer have managed to get themselves a, uh, at least one baler. In fact, I think they only out. have one yeah. baler. So, so Trelleborg have got one harvester. Grimmer have got one, one baler. Bailer. So it's switched either way. That's going to be interesting how this, this plays is, out. This is, yeah. I mean, Grimmer have got the option. They've got the potential now for far more grain, far more swath on the it's, ground. It's not such a problem, though, for Grimmer because they have transport company. Yeah. So they can get baling. They can send two harvesters out there Bailing for slightly, uh, sorry, creating straw for slightly longer, bailing, and then come in later with the transport company yeah. and, and get those bales and plus out. Plus, they're producing far more grain. Yeah. It's essentially twice as much grain in the this, same amount of time. This is, right now, this is really dangerous for Trollbull. Yeah. Yeah. Grimmer have got some good machinery off the start of that. It was a very, very good play. What, whichever way, whichever way the Trollbull go with the bonus as well. They, they have an issue yeah. because they, they can't create the bales. No. They don't have the straw to create the bales and, and they can't create the grain. No. In fact, if women go for that grain one with the amount of grain that they can create extra, that could, it could, it could, yeah, it could be very, very decisive. I mean, we have seen trailer ball as we've said, they have that ability to adapt to pretty much any given situation. They have I in am the past. Think, though, if we've seen a team win with one harvester. I was thinking back to Poland. I can't. I, every I'm, I'm fairly sure when we when we noticed this, I'm fairly sure every team that had one harvester lost their match. Yeah, it was just there were some too, close ones, but they, they just, were yeah. close. But it, it was just too much of a deficiency. Yeah. To come back from, and especially especially when the only one that Trelleborg have is the ideal. Yeah, big grain tank, but small header. But small they, header. They can't. Much. So that not only are they able to create straw at a lesser rate because they have one harvester the overall they're able to create straw at a lesser rate yeah. you have to harvest with that harvester for longer yeah this is this is a severe handicap it, it, for Trelleborg out the gate I mean this is grimace to win I mean they, it they, really is they, 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 if they take full advantage of this yeah they've got all the cards on their side at the moment they, they look very strong they, yeah, I mean, they've got, they've got no choice, yeah. have they? They've got, no, they've got they, to follow they, along they've behind. They've got to follow along they've got behind nothing else. They've got no other way of doing it. They have got enough there to have two bailers running. There's just no point. I think, I think if Grimmer drop their grain first, that is the only way I can see at the moment that Trollborg can, can counter this. But will they have enough grain to counter it enough? Will it end up with still having grain well, having the advantage? They need, yeah. they need to, that's why they need to drop their grain first. Because yeah. if they drop their grain first, they at least have a short period where they've where got, they've got a, yeah. greater, um, a greater multiplier. And, and so they're all... In fact, I think Trellenborg's only way to do this now is to actually go for that grain multiplier. Yeah. Because they can't counter against the... Uh, against the bail multiplier. They don't have enough straw creation to do it. Yeah. So we are seeing players dropping off a of bits of equipment while harvesters are unloading. They're going to grab the vehicles they need for the next phase. Yeah, that Trelleborg harvest is going to just have to keep going almost constantly. Yeah, There's, it's it's not going to be one of those harvesters that can finish at, uh, at 10 minutes. No. They, they, they're going they to have to keep be, going. They have to keep going. And, and 
the trouble is when they are all this is a nice counter this is a nice way of doing it though they are making sure their harvester doesn't stop. So they're unloading on the move. Keep they it, keep have it going. the man to do it. Yeah, because normally you would you would leave one harvester to so unload, jump into the second, and off you go. Yeah. They don't have a second harvester to do that with. No. This is the only way to and unload. And they this. don't. Uh, and, and there's no point in them. You know, their bale stacker. There's no point in that following all the time. There's no point in them them having another baler out baling because they don't have the straw to do it. So they might as well just get. That. And in fact, actually, that crone baler, I'm sort of slightly surprised they're using the crone baler. Yeah. Because for them, that is going to be slower on that tractor. It's not a powerful enough tractor. I but they're not transporting them with that. Well, not at the moment. They no. might do later on. But I suppose, yeah, that's maybe where it will come into its own, is later on, if they stop using the transport that's company, it. they may well then just use that later for getting bales in as, as quickly as they can. But they are small tractors. Does it say that off yeah. the start? They had some small tractors there. And I'm kind of wondering, do they have the, do they have the fence? Because if they have the fence baler, I'm, well, again, it's, it's, uh, bailing fast is not something they're after at the moment. No. Oh, no, it makes no difference to them at the moment. No. But they're basically, basically I, th I think what they're going to do is they're going to have to keep that baler coming back and, and keep delivering bales all the time. Yeah. But it is, a, it is still a case of how long does that, harvest to go for in order to, oh, yeah. uh, to and again, keep that That's going to come down to that timing issue we've said about in every single one, haven't we? Is when do you stop? When do you pull away from that one and move on to the next thing? And leaving it too long can cause you problems. Doing it too early can, you know. It's so much more complicated than just, like we said before, it's not just bailing and harvesting. There's a lot to it. And we are, we are now coming up to that crucial moment when the power plays will drop. A late power play drop here I don't know whether that would play to Trelleborg's advantage or not. I mean, a late one would mean that Grimmer will have far more bales sitting there waiting right. to go, I suppose. Well, both teams have got it, so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we've seen teams go, we, we've predicted things at the start of games, in the middle of games, and it's gone completely the other way around at the end yeah. and, and completely thrown us um, uh, to do something we didn't expect. So who knows? We know Trelleborg are good at countering anything that's thrown at them. I, I don't know. We can see here Grimmer are, uh, sorry, Trelleborg are now dropping off bales with that crone baler. So, as you're saying, the reason they're using the trip, uh, the crone, is so that they can keep getting yeah. bales. And in. they're going to have to. They, they've got to keep that yes. harvester going. They've got to keep those bales coming. Drop one person off to do the loading. But then they're in that situation that when the multiplier or the power play drops, if they're going to do a grain drop, somebody's got to drop off of something. So whether they sacrifice it on the bailing, sacrifice it on the harvesting, they've got to drop off somewhere. And Grimma are, are going to go for the early points, the first bail point as well. 20 points in the top door, first bail double points, yes. so they should be getting 40 points on the board. And we are, we are well within the possibility of a uh, bonus dropping. There and there goes the first bail. And the power-ups have dropped. So What's which it going to be? And it's the bail, bail power. Bail boost. So we're going to start to see bales are flying now. Both teams wanted to get as many points as they can on the board while they've got that two minutes. But I don't see that they're... I mean, they are... You kind of want it to be almost ready exactly at that point, but you're never sure when it's going to drop. Now, I'm wondering how much grain the Grimmer have in their thing. Do they have enough that they could turn off Stop it completely. Stop. That would be absolute, complete. That would yeah. that would absolutely destroy trouble. Trouble are now loading in bales as fast as they can. And both the harvester and baler are still going true. in the field. They're not doing anything with their grain. But I say this would be a perfect opportunity yeah. for Grimmer to drop grain and, and have the problems. manpower to do it. To absolutely. Stop Although their, they stop are their they are making sure that they still have those bales flowing. They do not want to lose that. Trouble leading on the points. But Grimmer are following up, they are catching up. Minute left on the clock. It really depends on how much Grimmer can get into that top box. Oh, and a rare. Yeah, there you go, Error loader, there. switch of loaders. Injury to their usual Injury. loader. Is that going to cause them problems? So 120 points and 140 points in it at the moment. This is back to what we said at the early tournaments, wasn't it? Trelleborg sit back and go, watch this. Yeah. And, and this is going to come down to the grain yes. drop. 
but there are only five minutes left on the clock and nobody's dropping and looking to drop their grain yet. No. Uh, and 18 seconds left of this bail bonus. 200, uh, sorry, 340 to 420. 480, oh. sorry. And interestingly... That's unusual. Now, they're not taking advantage of that three times and that is the end of the bonus. So 530 to 380. Now they oh. oh, both teams making mistakes. Is that going to stay on or not? Now this is Grimmett who are bringing in an immediate stack of bales. They are going to go and unload, uh, unload this harvester. That is a massive amount of grain they have. There is a lot. But I, I think they need to take advantage of it. They, they massively need to take advantage of this grain at the moment. And they need to do it soon. They're going to they're going to run out of time. They need this and advantage. And you can see they have got a yep. Their stacker now ah no they do have yeah. Then their stacker is heading back with these. That makes sense. Uh, they've got the other tractor on the uh, on the grain cart. They're still and harvesting. No, that's the wrong call. This is now the wrong call. They should be getting their grain done. They need that multiplier. Because why? Why that is not going? Why? Why? He is not going to dump that grain with under four minutes left on. They're not making. They're not taking advantage of that grain. The whole time they're doing that, um, Trelleborg are still harvesting and producing grain as yeah. well. They, they, I don't know. We could be pleasantly surprised, but that's a very odd move for this that is time a, in the game. A massively odd move. Because Trelleborg are heading in with more bales. With They've more got bales. five more bales. They're going to increase this gap yeah and it could reach a point where there's too much to cope with okay now we might be seeing the grain drop up but they need to no that was <laughs> you can't get at, bogged at down point, you cannot at, get bogged as, down at this point count. it is these these unforced errors that are happening yeah on grim aside yeah that are just mounting up with three minutes left they need enough bales on hand that when they put this grain right. in they take huge advantage of this. Yeah. They have to. And, and this you can see, and, and, and this is the point, if they are not in position when this empties, they're not going to take full advantage of this. So this is the point Grimman needs to now be loading bales like mad while this multiplier is going up. Because if they don't do that, they Are they going to stop the belt? Mind you, that's a trailer ball. haven't got any bales there at the moment anyway, but... No. Possibly, that they might stop the belt if it gets to three to one. Not quite. No. So, oh, they have. No, they have. Okay. okay. So, so now, now, get your bells in. They've got loads. Look, they can load this this uh, conveyor belt up. Yeah, completely busted belt. But Trellborg don't have any bales there. So by the time Trellborg have counted this, which is exactly what they're doing they right now. They haven't got enough bales. They should have had bales preloaded on that belt. Yeah. As soon the as moment, they, the moment they start unloading, that should have done it. And they have, yeah. And they do have something to counter with, impressively. I just think as soon as they started dumping grain, they should have been getting bales on here. They've got a multiplier, but they, they could have taken advantage of that three to one multiplier. On the other hand, though, Trouble are having to respond to this. They are having to, to try and counter this. They don't have enough to fully counter it. So this is the point at which, <laughs> with a minute and a half left on the clock, <laughs> that Grimmer have to take full advantage of everything. They have got to get these bales on as quickly as possible. I don't, I don't think they took advantage of that multiplier. They, no, they really I, didn't. I, it came late. It's Because Trelleborg have still got plenty there. They've got a constant supply coming. It's <laughs> It's close. It is. We've still got a couple on the floor behind oh, the good. conveyor belt as well. A minute left on the clock, and it is it is 60 points between them. It's going to be who runs out of bales. It is. You've got to be very uh, confident at this point, with this amount of time left, to be double stacking. Uh, trouble? No, they do not. Absolutely have this in the bag. They are. Absolutely out there grabbing every bale they can. But well, this um, is it. Can this is Grimmer it. take advantage now? This is the second point where they really have got the opportunity to do this. Yes. Oh, okay. 
playing games. They're trying to, yeah, they they're are trying to get trying the bridges to come to, up. Yeah, yeah, trying to block uh, Grimmer from getting those bales in. <gasps> oh, okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. This okay. is this is twelve seconds to go. If this gets in, seven thirty. This bell goes in for twenty. I think this is not going to make it in, is it? Six, no, five, no. Four, four, three, two, oh, no. one. Yes! Oh, oh that's <laughs> Oh my god! Upset. There we go. They did it. They did just enough. That came down to the last bail. That was incredible. Oh, <laughs> last bail. That wow. last bail went in with zero I, on the clock. Yeah, I honestly didn't think that had gone in. I didn't think that had gone in. That's incredible. That is a massive upset. I, no one was expecting it. There were, there were mistakes made on both sides. There absolutely were. That was a... Oh, man. Who says it's not nail-biting and exciting? Of course it is. Wow. Gee, that, is, that is the closest. Yeah. 